Man, so yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, this shit came out, and it took me a while to listen to it. I'm not even gonna bullshit, because I was just fucking around. I went on that Piff and seen um, Lil Flash mixtape drop, and then I went on uh, live mixtapes, and I was like, yo, this shit dropped. That's crazy. And then I think I went on um, Spinnerilla and seen that Lee Mazin got a new mixtape out, but it's just basically freestyling. So, Katie Got Bands. Finally dropped Drilly Clinton 3. I'm actually glad that she dropped this shit before the year was over. And shout out to everybody that's been showing the channel love. Like, I gotta admit, y'all actually do, I guess, like my channel. I don't know what video it was that actually almost pushed me over the limit, but yeah, that's kind of crazy. Like, I'm almost at 3,500 subs. That may not seem like a lot, but I'm just saying, like, I remember it was just... 3,000 subs, and so it took almost a couple of months to get 500 subs, which, whatever, it's about the uh, review, anyway, I gotta say, um, damn, man, I don't, I don't, it's like, this tape had a theme to it, and I don't know if she just said fuck it and put it out, but you can tell that this could have been more... It, it was cool. Don't get me fucked up. It was cool, but I see the mistake she made. You know what I mean? If this was supposed to be the last of the Drill Queen, you could tell that she inserted certain tracks, you know what I mean, Tra for her going for a different sound. And I don't think that's bad because she's been stated that, you know what I mean, she tried to move away from the Drill shit in the interview I saw earlier this year. So that's cool too, but I just feel like it kind of just seemed like they looked at all the songs she did and tried their best to just piss something together and it kind of didn't work. In my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I just feel like if she was gonna do that, I, I would have I would have just scrapped it. But okay, so it basically opens up with a news clip, you know, about the violence that's going on in Chicago, which is dope. And it's it's pretty awesome for her to do that. You know, I I thought that was really different. Like, wow, I don't okay, that's hmm. I respect it, you know what I mean? But it's a quick song, though. It's just her spitting a few verses. Uh, not verses, but a few lyrics, you know what I mean? The beat was crazy. I definitely like her flow. I, I see she back with her ad-lib game. Like, the, the last couple mixtapes, she kind of was light on her ad-libs, you know what I mean? Her lyrics were very vivid. You definitely got, she was straight to the point with it. Then it gets it to set it off. It's kind of like a news press skit. And she just spit a few quick bars, you know what I mean? And you hear, like, people cheering in the background. It's kind of like, you know how the presidents had a campaign? It's kind of like that's the theme of the mixtape, the campaign for, you know, Katie Got Bands, Jewelry Clinton, shit like that. You know what I mean? So I was like, all right, that's not bad. And then we get into Make Me Rich featuring Jeremiah and Shai Hoover. I listened to it, but I just was like, all right, it's all right. It's okay. You know what I mean? It's cool, but it wasn't for me. Um, Jump, out the fort, uh, Jump Off the Porch featuring Kano. I fuck with that hard, you know what I mean? That shit go crazy. That's the Katie got bands that I was like, all right, you know what I mean? If you're going to do the drill shit, let it be the drill shit. You feel me? You could do that other shit on another mixtape. But the beat was crazy. Um, I definitely like her lyrics. It's basically about guns and shit like that, violence. You know what I mean? Don't make me jump off the porch. The, it was something she said in the song where it was like some something, something happened. I was at home watching Netflix or something like that. I ain't had nothing to do with it. Like that shit. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I was like, man. That's crazy. And mind you, this shit dropped like when the King Louis shit happened. And I think if I'm correct, I heard those two are cousins or some shit like that. But I was like, wow, she dropped the tape with her. All right. But that's just me being, you know what I mean, kind of a conspiracy theorist. But the lyrics on there was straight. Then it got Juice Got Me Loose featuring Plies. Eh, damn. It was okay. It wasn't, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just was like what you know what i mean i sat here and i'm like let me run this shit back five times just to see if it's and i'm like okay her part is cool plies wasn't bad but it just the song to me didn't fit in the structure of the mixtape you know what i mean like when you got done listening to it and go all the way back and listening to certain songs i was like eh. you know um goddamn featuring eugene versus was cool good beat i fuck with that song you know what i mean her flows and lyrics are straight you know what i mean um it was it was cool like I wouldn't have been saying God, you know, that I'd have, it's got G-O-T, damn. Like, I thought that was wild. All right. Um, track seven, Chasing a Band, Skit. Yeah, it's cool. I guess it fit. Uh, numbers, track eight. It's just a minute and 48 seconds. She went crazy, though. She was hella aggressive on that motherfucker. And the beat was crazy. 
uh, Lick Off Them Heads, Jamaican type song. No, that shit, fuck that, get it out of here. You know what I mean? I never knew anything about if she was Jamaican. I was like, what the fuck is she doing? Next, Straight From The Bottom featuring Caleb James. I like that song. I thought that shit was cool. I actually listened to that shit. I stopped listening to the mixtape just to listen to that song because the production was so crazy. And that's me being different. So it's like, y'all probably don't like it. But I thought that it caught me off guard. I was actually about to watch a movie and that, that track 10 came on. I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck is that? What track is that? You feel me? Like I stopped what the fuck I was doing in another room to come back to like, yo, what's that? You know what I mean? So I'm letting this shit play while I'm on a laptop doing what I'm doing. And it's like, what is that? And I came back. I was like, oh, all right. You know what I mean? And from this point, the, the mixtape kind of get dope. You know what I mean? But it goes into Count It Up featuring Lee John and Q. And I thought that was all right. And I'm like, oh, shit. Damn. Sip this tea skip was hilarious. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. But, yo, you got to admit, K got bands did sound kind of sad and depressed, though, nigga. Like, when she like, bitch, I ain't blah, 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 petty ass bitch. Like, I'm like, but you kind of do sound like that, though. Like, what's she wrong? It's like, well, first of all, that would never work in this day and age unless the bitch was on a house phone. Because if you own a motherfucking cell phone and you got a call waiting, you feel me? And somebody call you, bitch, how you going to fuck up and not, you know, click over? Like, you either the stupidest bitch on the motherfucking earth or your dumb ass was tweaking and didn't think you clicked over. Like, get the fuck out of here. But I thought that was hella funny. It goes into track 13, which is petty. God damn, this, this shit... Wow, this. Let me hear him finish this shit. Um, it's an anthem vibe. If you like her song, like "Little Bitch, Little Bitch, Little Bitch, Little Bitch," like that shit, it remind me of that. You know what I mean? It was dope. It's the it's an anthem for the um the ladies. I'm gonna say that straight up. You know what I mean? It's a dope song because I think we all know male or female petty ass motherfucker, like male or female, like, petty ass motherfucker. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like so that works, but it's basically geared to the ladies. So I, that shit was dope. Trapping in Italy featuring Young Dro, which I thought I was waiting for that Dro verse. He didn't even get a verse. He did the hook. And I was like, what is this? How you ain't going to get Dro in a verse? Like, are you stupid or are you dumb? Which one are you? Are you both? Cause that was a dumb mistake. I mean, it's all cool, but, man, you get that nigga just a hook, I guess. Lyrics was decent, though. I give her that. Beat was crazy, though. I was like, yo, Dro would have went crazy on this song. He didn't even get a verse. Inaugural fuck up. I mean, my bad. Inaugural fuck you. It's a skit. She spit a few quick bars. She spazzed on that shit. I fuck with it. The come up, crazy ass beat. You know what I mean? Her flow was on point. You like? I'm just going to say this. Listen to the lyrics of what she's saying. I don't need to break it down. Just listen to what she's saying. That shit was like, wow. Like, all right, I'm really going to listen to this one more time. And then the last track, which is Pop Out Remix, it's just a snippet. To me, that shit going to be a smash. Like, why the fuck wouldn't you just put it on there? Like, I don't understand. Like, it, you could have just easily put the song on there. and, and it, You could have took half these okay songs off and put this on there. That would have been dope. But overall, she did her thing, man. I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. 13 of them is straight, you know what I mean? I just feel like too many skits, you know what I mean, on this joint. You got one, two, three, four, five, six records on here that's basically a minute and some change. And, you know what I mean? The skits is cool, but it's just like, yeah, it didn't seem like a well put together project. I get what she was going for if you was going for that 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 skit type situation. You don't open a damn mixtape with a <clears throat> like an intro like that. You feel me? If you was going to do that, you kind of pit that towards, that should have been the outro, you feel me? And then you say what you say. That song should have been the outro. You open the motherfucker up with, you know, one of the other skits. Like, you know what I mean? Since it's, you're doing the whole Drillery Clinton shit, the inaugural fuck you skit would have been dope to open up the tape with. You feel me? That's just what I'm saying. And from there, all the other skits follow that. And then you go with the intro, make that the outro, and that's how you close the tape. Then it would have worked better, but... That's just my thoughts on it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Drilly Clinton 3. Which one is the best to y'all out of all three of them? I think I'm going to have to go back and listen to um the first two and then make my decision. But this is a trilogy, so, I mean, do y'all think she has a solid trilogy? Or do y'all feel like she should have waited to drop this tape? But I've been talking too much, so y'all hope go ahead and um enjoy the review. Thanks for all the support. I'll holler at y'all later, man. One.